and like I, I don't like to get serious about a lot of things, but what I was, I, I was so proud of myself that year and obviously going into this year, but that year, because I would leave Thursday, I'd shoot a bazillion and go to the range. Friday, I'd shoot a bazillion, miss the cut, go to the range. And uh, I had actually changed back to my, um, my coach I had in college and you know, who I'm with right now, Les Johnson. And we, you know, he was awesome. I I'd call him every day and be like, Hey, like, this is what happened today. And we didn't have all bad days. I remember the John Deere and the Greenbrier actually led the field in, uh, in total driving for the first two days, not all four days. Cause I didn't get to play those two, but <laughs> the, all the first two days. And you know, that even was a mental struggle. Cause I'm like, gosh, if like the one thing I think I'm terrible at, I'm the best at this week. And I still missed the cut, but it was just becoming way too much, like too much pressure on myself to do everything great. Um, you know, also like completely just like giving up on practicing my wedges and my short game and putting, because it's like, if I can't get the ball and play, what's the point chipping for six, isn't really like that big of a deal. Um, so, uh, but I'd have weeks where it was just, you know, I would just be like, okay, I'm going to miss a cut, but I'm going to grind as hard as I can. And every single day, every single day, I'm going to learn one new thing about it and, and just be so freaking prepared for when it comes around. And I, I, I posted it on my Twitter after I think I got my card. Um, but I found this quote that Kobe uh, had in his locker. I think he got from Popovich. But it was about this stone cutter. And it says, you know, like a stone cutter uh, is chopping away at a, at a, at a big um, boulder and he swings at it, you know, one time, two times, three times, a hundred times without like a dent being made in it. And on the hundred and first time it completely breaks apart. And it says a wise man knows it was not the hundred and first blow that did it. It was the hundred that came before it. And I was like, this is me right now. Like, this is how I'm going to like leave my mark on this game. And this is how I'm getting back. And I got, I got, I, I was fortunate to have a career in general, like that I've made a good amount of money where it wasn't like a massive financial, like it wasn't on my brain, like that. I was just like siphoning off money. Um, but you know, it obviously wasn't great, but I was able to be like, okay, like if this takes four years, it takes four years, but we're starting right now and I'm not going to waste a day or an hour or a minute not trying to get better. And it actually taught me to get my attitude to be so much more positive because I realized that if you're playing that bad and you're also thinking negatively, like they don't go together. So I had to lie to myself and just be like, today's the day, dude. Like today's the day we go shoot 65 and everything kind of breaks apart and like this starts to go the right direction. And every time I thought I hit rock bottom, um, I found a shovel and dug a little deeper and it was shocking. I would come off golf courses and just like in shambles, like mentally and just be like, man, like maybe I'm not supposed to do this. And then, you know, I'd be like, all right, wake up in the morning, going to practice. And I, I'm very, very proud of myself for doing that. Um, it was hard and it makes this year feel like I haven't felt what I felt uh, when I got my car back in, in, in uh, Canterbury in Cleveland a couple of weeks ago because I have an unbelievable group of friends that supported me and never, you know, like, you know, you lose, you, you lose a lot of people when you do this. Like I, I got a lot less text messages and you know, obviously when you're playing bad about hanging out, but my friends stuck by me and it was cool to get texts from certain people and then be like, man, like I know what you just did. And like, that was impressive. And I was like, for the first time I was like, I agree. Like this one was cool. Um, cause embarrass it's one thing to be bad at your job or, or to struggle. It's really hard to like legitimately be embarrassed to be out there. I'm playing against Tiger Woods and Phil Mickelson and Rory McIlroy. And I'm like shooting 80 and I'm losing. F I thought I think one term I lost in two rounds, 14 shots to the field in total driving. And it's just like, what are you doing out here, dude? Like, and, and I know deep down I'm better than this, but you just think you get stuck in this rut and, you know, glad it obviously turned. Um, I just wanted to leave a mark of, um, resiliency, uh, you know, and I thought that that would be, that would be who I am. Some people are great at hitting a seven iron. Some people are great at putting. I'm going to be like the toughest guy you've ever met. And like, that's in my head, how I kind of tried to spin it.